Block 33. On the last vlog I was talking about walking through the valley of the shadow of death. One of the things I said was, the shadow has no substance. Another thing I said was, a valley has a beginning, a middle and an end. Another way of saying that is the tipping point. Every situation or circumstance has a potential tipping point. And I'm going to give a demonstration here. could get an Oscar for this. Piece of wood. Pick the wood up like that. And I start to lift it. And I can feel pressure. Gravity wants this piece of wood to go back there. So there's pressure. In order for me to lift this piece of wood, I've got to exert greater pressure than the pressure that's coming against it. And as I lift it up, still feel the pressure. Still feel the pressure. It's getting lighter now. It's getting lighter. Now we're going to hit the tipping point. That was the tipping point. There comes a point in every circumstance, if you stand against the pressure, Paul said it this way, when you've done everything to stand, stand. So the, whatever circumstances are going on in your life, whatever situations come and come against you and put pressure on you, if you will exert pressure in the spirit, if you will rise up in the spirit, if you will praise, if you will pray in the spirit, pray in tongues, declare the word of God, praise before the Lord, there'll come a point in time where you will get your breakthrough. A lot of believers give up somewhere around here. It gets too much for them, the feel is too much, the flesh cries out, the soul's whinging on, they're crying on, and they won't press in. Press in till you get your tipping point. When you, get your t when you get to the tipping point, everything accelerates forward very quickly. It is worth it. Tipping point for this nation came on April the 8th. April the 8th. On April the 8th, the scepter of our king was extended to Boris Johnson. Thousands of petitions were taken into the king's court on his behalf in the heavenly realms. They were accepted and he extended his scepter towards Boris Johnson to stop the spirit of death taking him. And from April the 8th, and 8th is also the number of new beginnings, we hit the tipping point in this nation and everything is changing. In this nation now everything's going forward and it will increase in an accelerated rate it is so important that the ecclesia stay in the presence of the king releasing petitions requests and supplications to him so that he can extend his scepter the word of god says those those who are in authority have been put there by god our king did not make boris johnson Prime Minister, to let the devil come in and kill him. He put him there for a purpose, and that purpose still has not yet been fulfilled. So stay in the presence of our King, releasing your petitions, releasing your supplications on behalf of our Prime Minister. So every valley has a beginning, every valley has a middle, every valley has an end. Paul says this, it's one thing I do, I press in, I press. You've got to exert some spiritual muscle to get what you want, especially if the devil has stolen off you in a generational area. Generational theft is something that Satan and his kingdom is very good at. The word of God says that Jesus was made poor so that through his poverty we could become rich. But through our generations and sins in our generations and bad decisions, bad financial decisions, bad decisions that our generations have made, the enemy is able to get in and steal from us. You can restore everything that has been stolen from you throughout the generations. If you will enter in to the courts of the king and give him your petitions, let him extend his scepter towards you because he wants to. And then when he extends his scepter towards you, you can step out then with your legislation, with your authority, and you then start to speak. Remember Joshua 1 verse 8, do not let my word depart from your mouth. We are to declare his word. That's how you get the tipping point. You're praying in tongues. 
you're singing in tongues, you're confessing his word, you're praising him, and it gets to a point where you get your breakthrough. We are not on this earth not to get a breakthrough. We are not on this earth to be pressed down, oppressed, locked down, shut out, locked in. We are here to move forward in the power of the Holy Spirit. So, press in, get to your tipping point, rejoice when you get your tipping point, because when you hit that place, everything is accelerated. And in the name of Jesus, remember, Jesus is Lord and the Lord is a warrior. <laughs>